so came to the James Bond exhibit today. Check out some badass cars, actually. All the cars from all the Bond movies. And uh, yeah, almost walked through there. We'll see what it's like, show you guys some sick cars. So this one here is the one that they use in Quantum of Solace. This one and that one in the opening scene where it got shot up. Supposedly they wrecked like 15 of these things. Jeez, this thing is destroyed. Looks fucking crazy. C2006 Aston Martin. Oh yeah, this was using Casino Royale, my bad. This one's Casino Royale and that one is Quantum of Solace. The messed up wheel. See, this one got all shot up. Wow. That's the scene from the movie in Quantum. It's getting shot at and it flies over the hill. prototype that was used inspector in that scene when he was chasing the villain which was actually the villain was played by Batista a guy from WWE and I wish they brought this db 10 into true production I mean it's kind of the advantage now I guess today die another day turret on the back. The V12 Vanquish. The gun's coming out. Z8. Jeez, those Z8s used to be like 80 grand, now they're like 250. Classic 750 IL. With, of course, you know, sure. Rockets on the top. Old school Aston Martin. Used in the living of daylights in 1987. Wow. So this is the Neptune submarine that was used in uh, For Your Eyes Only 1981 movie. This thing is crazy. This was using Moonrake CV23 motorized hand glider. Used in Live and Let Die. Little blaster and boat. 71 Mach 1 Mustang. Diamonds are forever. One of the most classic Bond films, probably of all time.
the lotus is spirit. Well, that's it for the Bond in Motion exhibit. Movie comes out October 8th. And obviously, here's the classic of all classics, the DB5. No Time to Die, October 8th.